Raymond Carver's short story Cathedral was written in 1981, and it details this unique interaction between a pessimistic narrator and this blind uh, friend of his wife's. Um, the critical debate surrounding this story has often been concerned with, is this encounter with this blind man ultimately a scene of redemption for the narrator, or does it perpetuate the negative worldview held by the narrator? We hear the title cathedral, and we can't escape the religious connotations. So when we begin reading the story, we're surprised to find that not only is it not a religious story, it is in fact a post-religious story. And it has characters struggling to find meaning in a post-secular society. So it's not religious. It's not even about the loss of religion. It's about a society dealing with its religious legacy after religion has already been lost. And our narrator becomes the unlikely champion in this quest for meaning, even though he's been entrenched in this nihilistic lifestyle. And the catalyst for him coming upon this discovery is when he's sitting with this blind man and they're watching this program about cathedrals. And the blind man asks him to describe the cathedral to him. So he attempts this, but he fails. And he says, I can't do this. Religion's never been a part of my life. I, it's just not important to me. So he tells this to the blind man, and the blind man says, OK, let's draw the cathedral together. So they get out a piece of paper, and they begin to draw it together. And the blind man tells him to close his eyes, and they will both sort of blindly discover this cathedral together. And while they're engaged in this enterprise, the blind man insists that the narrator include people in his depiction of the cathedral. And at this moment, he says, this telling statement, what is a cathedral without people? And this is the moment that I argue unhinges the narrative. And it becomes less about the narrator and more about a social and philosophic issue about trying to find this meaning in this post-secular society. And the blind man is no longer just a blind man. He becomes a blind prophet archetype, and he serves to bring this idea of belief back into the life of the narrator. And the narrator, at the end of the story, becomes torn between, want, between his nihilistic lifestyle and wanting to believe in something. And this idea of something is repeated throughout the end of the narrative. So in the end, it's not so much about, is the narrator redeemed? It's about setting up this discourse between nihilism and belief. Thank you.